Hi everyone, it's Priya from Sugarpot and as promised, I've made a quick tutorial on how to make these filler flowers. Um, I absolutely fell in love with them when I went for my morning walks um, and what stood out was the centers of these flowers. Um, if you see them out in nature, they're still green and the tips are pale shades of either white or pink. So I've tried to recreate the same with sugar and this is how it turned out. Uh, the tools you'd need to make it are craft pliers and scissors, just a pastry cutter, some wire, fondant in two colours, preferably the inner one that we'd be using would be green and the outer could be any colour of your choice, some floral tape, a bit of water and a paintbrush. So what you do is you'd roll out your coloured fondant, the one that you'd want the tips to be in, you'd roll it out. So I've gone ahead and used a pasta machine and rolled it out. And you want to roll it out as thin as you would when you're making petals. So using the green fondant, we'd make a small ball. So don't worry about all the cracks that are visible, if any at all. You just need to work it out a bit more and with the palm of your hand, the heat that would pass on would smooth it out and you wouldn't be able to see the creases. Now using the pastry cutter, we'll just cut a circle big enough to cover the fondant ball that we made. You just want to brush the smallest amount of water onto the back of the disc. Place the fondant ball in the middle and just as you would make wontons at home, you just cover the entire green with the peach coloured fondant in this case. And press as you go and pull out the excess. So as you can see I pulled out the excess. You just want to cover it. Don't worry about that bit. We'll be using that as the base. Now roll this between the palm of your hands. And then just gently form a rough teardrop shape. It doesn't have to be perfect using the pliers we're going to just twist the wire dip it in a bit of water and insert it at the wider end of the bud that we've just made securing it at the base by pinching it And this is what you'd get. Now flip it over, resting it on one of your fingers and securing it with the other two. We're going to start making the petals. So holding the scissors at a 45 degree angle, we're going to cut and pull at the same time, but you don't want to pull too much. If this is the first time you're making something like this, I'd say just cut and pull the tiniest amount out and stop when you feel you've cut enough. So just go around. And cut them. So you will find a few stray coming off. Don't get worked up about that. It's totally normal. So you're just going to turn as you pull and cut. So you're just working your way from the base of the bud 
to the tip you start finding it becoming a bit narrow the space on top to cut so don't fret if there's not enough you just cut as you go and then adjust once you're finished so I'll just use the scissors and then just slightly open up those cuts to just make them stand out a bit and give it a bit more volume so that's how it would look once you've cut it now we've got to always always finish a flower by securing it with the floral tape So starting at the base of the bud, roll and wrap as you go. Just snip what is not required and then tuck at the bottom. And there you have it, a filler flower. Now if you want it, you could secure two to make them look like a little spray and that's fairly simple. So what we would do is you'd first cover the wires of both these flowers and then take another piece of floral tape and then just roughly place place it as you would, give it, giving it a bit of movement so you could use the best thing for that would be your pliers and then just bend it a bit. So you want to secure it from where it turns to the other direction. So as you did when you wrapped the buds, you do the same, you start wrapping from there. All the way to the bottom. That way it's secure from the top to the bottom. And then you can always adjust it and give it a bit more movement if you want it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give us a big like if you did and I'll see if I can make a few more for you. Thanks. Bye.